In this video, I'm going to be going over a low budget testing strategy that you guys can get started with as early as January 1st. This is a strategy that I recommend to use early in 2021 so that you can get the ball rolling and potentially make up to six figures during 2021 using this strategy. So without wasting any more time, let's get into the video. give me shit, but I'm the man now. They hate me cause I'm in my bag now. The fight for my spot was a bang out. No, this lifestyle don't come with a handout. Got love for my brothers, I won't switch. Wanna see my niggas. Like in any other strategy, you're going to have to find a product. And as I said, this is a low budget testing strategy. So when I speak of low budget, I don't necessarily mean zero dollars. It is possible to start using zero dollars with the strategy. I'll explain how later in the video but I recommend having at least, you know, a couple hundred dollars in your bank account so that you're going to be able to pay for marketing expenses. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is find a product. Now this product is going to be in a passion niche. I highly recommend finding a fitness product just because coming close to the end of the year and early in the new year, what do people do? People like to drum roll. People like to make New Year's resolutions. So a lot of people set fitness goals early in the year because they want to get that beach body for the summer. You know, it's winter and they have time to kind of be, be lazy. Nobody really needs to know that they put on a little bit of weight. So they're trying to burn off that weight before the summer comes so that they can get their beach body on. Bikini body. Get to the beach looking better than ever. It doesn't necessarily need to be like a resistance bands type of product. You're probably not even going to want to sell that in the first place just because it doesn't have the best margins. You're not necessarily just going to be finding products that like help you work out and stuff like that. These could be anything that has to do with health, um, you know, fitness, nutrition, anything like that. Like, you know, cooking just related towards that, like health and wellness, uh, health and wellness and like fitness niche. Like I said, you're not going to want to use something as broad as resistance bands. You're probably gonna want to use resistance bands maybe as an upsell um, they'd probably do very well as an upsell especially if you're selling a product that is more expensive than that which you probably would want to do but yeah you'd, you'd maybe want to use something like resistance bands as an upsell the last thing that you're gonna want to do uh, once you find your product is make sure that you have a reliable supplier because early in the new year many of you guys know that Chinese New Year comes not too long after and the suppliers actually go on a break for a long period of time. Wow, I feel, why would you say that? Sometimes two to three weeks, maybe even a month time. Like you put me in such an uncomfortable situation. Last year it was extended because of um, the quarantine. You're gonna wanna find suppliers, maybe even a US supplier, actually get these orders fulfilled. If you are still looking for a supplier right now or you have a product that you're running and you might need help finding a reliable sourcing agent, cheaper prices or faster shipping, you can hit me up. I do have a direct contact with one. The second step to this strategy is actually to build out your brand. So once you find your product or products, you're going to want to build out your store, find your logo, get your creatives ready. Now put an emphasis on this whole branding aspect. Um, like I recommend my goal would be to create some type of fitness store, uh, like branded looking store. So just put a lot of emphasis on the actual branding aspect of the store. A lot of people do take time off early in the new year because of the Chinese new year. So you can use this downtime to your advantage. Most people are not going to be spending that much money on marketing. So you're going to want to try your best to use this downtime to your advantage. CPMs should be lower on Facebook if you're going to be marketing on Facebook. And there should be a lot more time slots open with influencers. So just use this downtime to your advantage. So this should be the easiest part of this whole strategy is just building out your brand, getting everything ready, get everything looking good. So we're gonna get into the first step of marketing. And as I said, we're on a low budget, so you're not really gonna wanna necessarily jump into Facebook ads early on if you're on a low budget. I would recommend having at least, you know, between a thousand and two thousand dollars minimum to start, a thousand dollars being the bare minimum to start with Facebook ads. And the reason behind that is because it's going to help you out with your cash flow. If you do have a product that's profitable, your deposits don't come in every day. So you can easily blow through that thousand dollars before your deposits come in and you're going to have to, and you're going to have to turn off your ads, which will mess up the optimization. So you probably won't want to do that. So we're going to play it safe and we're going to get in with um, influencers. As I said, we're most likely going to be in the fitness niche. So you're going to want to use not just like fitness type pages, but more like public figures that like a public figure that can kind of put their face behind your brand, their face behind the products that you're selling. The reason being something like something like Blendjet where they put Jen, 
I don't really know her name, Jen Stella. What did he say? Oh. Or some, some like that. They put her face behind the actual brand and that helped really push that product and gave it a lot more social proof. If you could find these public figures that have maybe 30 to 50,000 followers on Instagram, you could maybe even use TikTok. I've heard a lot of people that are killing it on TikTok. So you could look on TikTok as well. Doesn't really matter what platform it's on, but if you could find these smaller public figures with a decent amount of followers, you could usually get out a deal with them. Now, when I was speaking about starting with no money, zero dollars, early in the video, what I was referring to was getting into it with influencers and doing profit splits with them. So essentially, you would not be putting any money up front, but you would be splitting maybe 50, 50, 60, 40 uh, percent profit with the actual influencer, and you would have a contract that they would go over, they would sign it, and basically any revenue that they bring in, you split that profit with them. That's how you would do it on a lower budget, but not a lot of people are actually willing to do this. So uh, that's why I said it would probably be more time consuming. It's kind of hard to find somebody that would be willing to do this. Now, the maximum that I would spend is $40 for a good page. I feel like you guys could be able to find, you know, decent pages for around 10 to $20 a shout out. And as you guys keep bringing in more revenue and more profits, you just want to keep reinvesting that. Now, this is going to be the final slide. So. This is the second part of marketing and you're going to want to leverage the data that you've acquired using these influencer posts. So this process is not necessarily going to make you rich. It will help you acquire data that you'll be able to push onto Facebook ads and Instagram ads. So cycle through the influencers, as I was saying, cycle through them until you acquire enough profit and enough money into your pocket that you're going to be able to use this data. So you're going to go to the ads manager, make sure that you install the pixel onto your store before you start running these influencers or else you're not going to have any data on that pixel and you won't really be able to run those Facebook ads as efficiently as possible. Another thing that you guys want to make sure that you're doing to secure the most amount of profit possible is push SMS and email marketing. Now this is really important because you're not really putting any money up front for it. Like it's, it's very cheap to get email marketing out. You can also use like these automated apps and stuff like that that you can install into your store. Just make sure that you're doing that. That's basically free money that you guys are leaving on the table. You could send out promotion campaigns as well uh, during special season. So just make sure that you guys are doing SMS promotions, email marketing. Also grow that Instagram page that you guys built for those influencers, right? Grow those Instagram pages, leverage that data, make posts, make special offers, because this is all organic traffic that you guys can keep pushing. Once you get into those Facebook ads, there's no reason for you guys to really launch those interest targeting campaigns. You can get right into lookalikes and right into retargeting campaigns using like post engagement, people who have visited your Instagram page, Facebook page, etc. And you could just push out lookalike campaigns with that. Now you could also retarget the people that have visited your profile, uh, visited the website and stuff like that. So you just want to make sure that you keep cycling those influencers, um, schedule multiple posts at a time so you guys can acquire the most amount of data in the smallest amount of time. That was just a quick run through through the actual strategy. Now I do think the strategy has a lot of potential. If I'm not busy early next year, hopefully I'll be able to get a video out for you guys, showing you guys exactly how to do this step by step. Hopefully I do have enough time. I feel like that'd be great content. I do think that this strategy has a lot of potential if you guys do get started early on, just because like I said, not a lot of people are running stuff early in the year due to Chinese New Year, long shipping times, etc. So just get on it early in the year. If you build a big enough brand and a strong enough brand, you guys should be able to run that throughout the whole year, right? Because fitness products aren't something that really die. If you build a strong name behind that, it can be a reputable brand in that niche. So just get started early on. And as always, for those of you who stuck here till the end, please like, comment, and subscribe. For the guys that want to get in contact with me directly, there's a link to my Telegram group chat down below. And there's also a link to book some consulting calls with me. So if you guys need help scaling your store, um, you want me to go over your store, anything that you guys want to talk about, you can book a call with me down low or send me a message directly on Telegram or in the group chat. Once again, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.